Black and white Asians, we are one. Black and white Asians, we are one. Yeah. Federal government don't identify that woman where they say go kill Nigerian, where they threaten say she go kill Nigerians. Federal government don't identify the woman. Now it's a big problem right now, brother. Very big problem. Mokuna, watch the video. Watch this video right now. Mokuna, hear what the woman talk before federal government begin search for her, bro. Some people, that's why I say, bro, you see, now Nigerian woman, no way she did Canada. She be citizen of Canada. So Mokuna, don't listen to this thing, then I will talk after the video, you understand? Comments. Abike Dabirirewa, chair of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, has disclosed the identity of a Canada based woman, a Maka patient Sunberger, who allegedly threatened to kill fellow Nigerians living in the country. In a viral video, Sunberger made tribalistic remarks during a virtual TikTok meeting that had slightly over 100 people in attendance, vowing to harm Yoruba and Benin people by poisoning them. Uh, Sumbaga, who is a resident of Ontario, Canada, claimed her comments were in response to perceived hate against the Igbo people. The video has since sparked widespread outrage, with many calling for her arrest and prosecution. Let's take a look before we take some reactions from social media. Uh, I go they put them for all on our food. Nipa. All on our food for if I go work tomorrow now, I go put them for, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government. Oh yeah, I did Canada, I did Ontario. Oh yeah, hurry up. Hurry, fast, fast. I go put a tap, I go put a bomb or show everything for his own food. When I go to hear small small, you're a bad on that, yo. Be need dog, but me, when I go to hear and I'm a talker. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. When I do, when I, when I do, they're quiet. When I do, they're cool. Enough. It's enough. If you have a means of buying them, buy them. Okay, let's take some tweets. The first one there, of course, is from Abike Dabri herself, where she put out the picture saying this is the picture of the lady behind the voice as she has uh, deleted her TikTok account and a group of Nigerians in Canada reporting her to the relevant authorities. Let's go to the next tweet there from Alhaji. He says, good thing her face is on the internet and should face whatever charges in due time. But what about the Lagos Pedia handler? Does he not incite violence and death threats on Igbos and Hausas in Lagos? Or is this case not worth much attention? And the last Last week there reads, the hate is unprecedented from all sides. It's a spillover from the last elections in Nigeria, mostly in Lagos, that people were denied access to exercise their civil duties. You've planted this seed that has spread to Europe, America, and bleep are toiling that same line now. Now, I thought it was just important to, first off, I have friends from all tribes, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, and I love them dearly. This is not about who is right or who is wrong. It's about identifying that we have an issue when it comes to tribal matters and this woman of course has taken it too far Rufa, let's start with you very sad and i think uh, i think somebody also from the national assembly also wrote a letter you know to the canadian authorities yes, as regards this you can just pull that up and abike dabiri has also spoken about this but very sad you see we can't build a country with this level of bigotry and i totally condemn what this woman has done just like i condemn other people inciting violence in our ramifications mm -hmm. You cannot build a country this way. I keep telling people, our common enemies are not our Yoruba brothers or Igbo brothers or Hausa brothers. They are the politicians that bring about bad leadership. And because they have nothing to say to us about successes and achievements, they divide us. We must have a society where we can live beyond all of this and stop all this ethnic rhetoric. And I will quickly tell a story. When South Africa was under so much tension because of the killing of Chris Haney in 93. Nelson Shasha Mandela was famous to have made a concession speech where he reminded South Africans of the fact that Chris Haney was killed by a white person, but it was another white person that alerted them to the fact that Chris Haney had been killed. So we need not to go against one another we need to stay together and be firm. Yorubas, Igbos, Hausas, everywhere in the world live together in peace and harmony. That woman should be found out. And I must say, she's not a representation of the Igbo people. Just like people like Lagos PD are not a representation of the Nigerian people. They are just very, very bad people within their own mindset that needs to be told that what they are doing is wrong.
Okay, Dr. Abbas. Well, the, the thing to add is the position taken by the House of uh, Representatives, a letter signed by uh, Representative, I think, Olaleye and Representative uh, Ukiri, mm -hmm. complaining officially to the Canadian High Commission in Nigeria to say that, look, incitement to hate or threat to intimidate other people or, you know, whatever, is an offense. First, under international law, also under Canadian laws, also under Nigerian laws, also under the laws of uh, uh, Ontario, Canada, where I guess this uh, patient, Samaka uh, Sumberge, uh, uh, lives. So it's to be condemned. Incitement to hate of any sort. Again, second point is that we're seeing the abuse of the social media. The social media gives freedom. It's a democratic platform, but a lot of people abuse it. So it's good that the uh, chairperson of the Diaspora Commission, uh, Abike Dabiri Irewa, has spoken up on this to condemn it. And it is good that the House Committee on Diaspora Matters is also uh, speaking up on this. Uh, to say that uh, 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 Yoruba people and uh, Benin people uh, should be poisoned with uh, or tap so that they will uh, uh, pay. Uh, uh, nobody should uh, poison uh, Rufai or Ayoye, <laughs> 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 not even Atigaran from uh, Delta State. So I think these are, these are the uh, basic uh, issues in this uh, uh, regard. But she is arrogant again about her offense. Yes. She has repeated her offense. She says she's a Canadian. Yes, come on. She, so nobody can do anything to her. That nothing will happen to her. She cannot be deported. <coughs> so you see what people do on social media sometimes, you know, justify the concerns about the uh, freedom that social media offers. All right, then, Ayo. Yeah, just very quickly, mm -hmm. I want to say, refer to that tweet that says that this is an aftermath of what happened during the elections and how we've seen more hate along ethnic lines, division along ethnic lines in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that this should be a wake-up call for us to begin to look for a solution to bring people together. Yes. There's so much division. We mm -hmm. can no longer hide or bury our heads in the sand. What is the National Orientation Agency doing? What is the Nigerian government doing to ensure? Because people are even crying nepotism, even in, in, in appointments. We need to be able to demonstrate to all Nigerians that every single one matters, yes. irrespective of your political affiliation, of whom you voted for, who you supported. We are all Nigerian, and we have to find a way to bring back that unity. Mm -hmm. It's lacking, and it is sad to see. Definitely. Well, let's take our last story on uh, what story. My, my brother, my brother and sisters, and you see this thing. I know that woman. See now, no, it's not a photo. No, be a photo, bro. Now our government. Our government ain't cause all this stuff. You understand? Our government don't make us the we don't get trust in each other again. Outside Igbo Yoruba, we are one. We are one. Let's come together as one. And fight this government. They are the problem we are having now. Muslim, Christians, we be one. Now these politicians, this government ain't make us they hate each other. The things they will be enemy to each other. We are one, bro. We are one. Let's unite let's come together as one and support each other let's forget about this government where they try to confuse or they try to create something where they say no supposed to be you understand brother so let's come together i don't may they just caution the woman it's good as a like they were arrested i'm very very sure about it she will get arrested i'm very very sure about it bro. but let's come together let's stop the aid between ourselves outside people will be one be near everybody we are all one you understand mokulu hate each other the government, I make all these things, they happen, you feel me? So, stay peace, blessed, protected, peace with your brothers and sisters, you understand? What's your thought? Drop in the comment section. I go see you for the other video. Sure! Black and white Asians. We are one. Black and white Asians, we are one. Yeah.